In the lead up, as it's been like in recent years, quite the contrast between the two camps and what's going on. A little bit of disarray with the Blues, but not so for you guys. No, look, uh, we're doing okay at the moment, the, the Queensland players, and, and you know, touch wood, we've been um, injury free so far. Um, so hopefully, in a couple of weeks' time, we've got a healthy squad to pick from. Yeah, I know there's a lot of talk about the Blues at the moment with their a couple of injuries sort of flying around and, and who they're going to go with, but at the end of the day, there's a lot of quality players available for the, for the Blues. Could be something a little bit different with potentially no Petro in the team, he's been around for such a long time. Yeah, look, it be a little different look for the team this year, firstly with uh, you know Darren Lockyer not being there, he's been there for so long and he's sort of a bit of a father figure for all of our, us younger blokes you know, when we first started coming into the state of origin scene, um, you know, but he's moved on now and um, obviously Petro, he's put his hand up to play and he's a great player and he's earned his right to, uh, to play State of Origin again. I'm not too sure which way um, Mal and, and the selectors will go, but um, if, if he's not there it'll be a bit of a different look team, but still, uh, you know, we've got a lot of confidence in, in whoever's going to be in that in that 17-man squad. Cooper stepped up to the seven, going to leave a, a couple of bench spots there that Potentially you've got Benny Barber or Matty Bowen or I mean who would you like to see fill that spot? Uh, I haven't really had too much thought about that bench spot to be honest. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, no, it's not really up to me anyway. It's up to it's up to Mel and who he thinks would be best suited to our squad. Obviously Ben Barber and Matty Bowen, they're they're two very dynamic players. Um, yeah, Matty Bowen's been there and done it before. Um, I remember him he was playing um, around the time when I first started playing and some of the things he did there, you know, he won us a match. Um, Back in the yeah, early 2000s, when it went into Golden Point, he took an intercept and scored a try and won the match for Queensland. So we know what what he's capable of. So um, then you've got you got um, Daly Cherry Evans as well, um, who was on the bench for for the Kangaroos. And finally, mate, uh, you spoke about Lockie as a safety blanket. I mean, uh, you guys are pretty much under control without him now. But like, you know, it's a, it's a different feel without him, as you said, a father figure. Yeah, look, it was a different going to be a different feel and it was for the test match um, over in New Zealand but um, you know, we didn't really bring it up, we didn't talk about it and obviously we knew that uh, he was finishing up last year is that he was in the paper every day and on the TV every day that he was finishing so um, you know, we're confident with the players that we're going to have and, and obviously um, looking forward to this first game. Remember you can watch NRL Daily in its entirety on NRL.com at 6pm on Sport TV channel 989 on the Telstra T-Box and at 7pm on League TV channel 986.